Okay, so some doctors got together from Israel and USC, actually at USC's campus. Sort of a thank you for everybody participating in the Haiti rescue. Here's what happened. Our JLTV camera was there. All the, uh, the people around this table that went to Haiti and responded at a time of great need, uh, and we're all very grateful uh, for everything that you folks did. Here, here. My other toast is to the Israeli Defense Force uh, uh, hospital team. Uh, they provided uh, a great environment for our uh, uh, team from USC. Uh, we went to uh, Haiti uh, without uh, knowing that we wanted to help with a full team, but we really didn't know who we were going to meet there and how we were going to be able to help people. And it was really uh, a, perhaps an act of God that we arrived just as the Israeli Defense Force Hospital opened and needed help. And uh, this has been uh, something that we're very proud of. And uh, thank you very much for, for taking care of our, our folks. Here you are. The disaster took place is in Israeli time on the night between a Tuesday to Wednesday, uh, midnight, January 12th. So we heard about it during the night, of course, but Israel decided immediately to work in parallel. We did not wait for the cabinet to make a decision that we are going to send a delegation over there. We did not wait that Haiti is going to send a delegation over there. It was very quick. It was since we, we went with two planes. One was a passenger plane, the second was a cargo plane. It was less than six hours since the cargo plane arrived that we started to uh, admit patients. What we did see, we saw really thousands and thousands of patients lying, lying on the streets, lying in huge tents, uh, injured patients, with most of them with uh, open limb fractures. And uh, these are the exact patients which, without medical treatment, were born to die within, uh, within days. And I think, uh, from all the different things, I think this is, was probably the most important uh, reason why uh, the issue that we were able to arrive so quickly was beneficial for, for a lot of patients. The uh, Keck School of Medicine of USC sent a team of 10 uh, trauma specialists to, to Haiti uh, three days after the earthquake. And when they arrived in Haiti, they uh, were assigned to work with the Israeli Defense Force Hospital to basically respond to this tremendous humanitarian crisis. And our expertise in trauma surgery uh, was what we uh, sent forth to Haiti. And when we were in Haiti, we teamed up with the IDF who ran essentially the best field hospital in Haiti. They were there within uh, five days of the uh, of the earthquake, the IDF uh, has uh, uh, has the capability uh, of responding to emergencies, and uh, they are highly organized and were able to deploy in a way that was very rapid. In fact, they deployed in in many ways uh, more rapidly than the United States military. Uh, the U.S. military sent essentially the Navy and uh, the hospital ship comfort took almost a week to get to Haiti. So um, my understanding is, is that the, uh, the uh, workers in Haiti were tremendously grateful for the response of the Israeli government. Today we are having a reunion of the faculty members, the nurses, and staff members from the Keck School of Medicine and several members of the Israeli Defense Force uh, Hospital that were uh, working in Port-au-Prince together. They decided to work with us, which was, of course, a great one from our end. And so we have a reunion today between the, some of the physicians from the U.S. And, and some of the people from our group. We want to thank all the doctors from USC, from Israel, for banding together and doing something so great. It made us proud, especially to see our Israel friends uh, getting there so quickly. Amazing, marvelous, wonderful, and an expression of Jewish compassion.